Okay, hello grade eights. So um, today is Thursday, May the 21st, and we are in our second day now of doing a uh, geometry unit here. Very, very quick, short geometry unit. Um, and it occurred to me today that um, there's something very important that I need to talk to you guys about with regards to this type of geometry. The flip slides and turns, I, I've said it yesterday, they're not my favorite thing and they're not really all that important when it comes to high school. But there is something that really is very, very important when it comes to high school with regards to this type of work. And that is the Cartesian coordinate plane system. Um, and I'm, I don't know if you've been taught this in grade seven and I would love for you to know this before you go to high school because you're gonna be doing a lot of work in the Cartesian coordinate plane system in high school math. Uh, it all has to do with algebra. When you are doing algebra and you are um, plotting, you're, you're trying to figure out x and you're trying to figure out the value of y, when you have two variables like this in an equation, you can plot those variables on the Cartesian coordinate plane and you can figure out um, a visual representation of your algebra. So this is coming for you in high school, so you may as well get a head start on it now. And, um, and this makes our time here valuable getting practice using the Cartesian coordinate plane. Um, and if you're practicing using the flip slides and turns, then um, those things are valuable then as well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip over and we are going to um, work today on just discovering the uh, Cartesian coordinate plane system and plotting things within that. Okay, I'm gonna flip over and we will uh, go from there. Okay, so here I have um, in front of you, some of my, my work from last night's uh, homework. It's in pencil and I hope that you can see it. When you look at this little grid that I've drawn here, I've got my, this is my y-axis here, this is my x-axis here, and I am drawing, you know, a triangle, and then I'm sliding that triangle into um, a different position. But what if I have this triangle here, and you can see C prime is at one comma one for the x and the y, what if I'm asked to translate that down three and to the left four? Well, I'm already here at one comma one. If I go down three, I've like, I've left my, my little grid here, okay? So the Cartesian coordinate plane looks like this. And this is how you write the Cartesian coordinate system here. So this is still your y axis here. This is still your x axis here. But now we have negative numbers. So when I am looking at this Cartesian coordinate plane, it is divided into four separate, um, what we call quadrants, okay? These are the separate areas. So in earlier grades, you probably were only ever doing work in this particular zone up here. This is called the first quadrant. The second quad quadrant is over here. Then we go down over here for the third quadrant. And finally to our last one here, the fourth quadrant. So we are using and thinking about positive and negative integers and plotting them on our graph. If I have a positive x and a positive y, I'm going to be somewhere in here. It could be 6 and 4. There's my dot right there. If I have a positive y but a negative x, now I'm past 0. This is 0, right? This is the true 0 here in the center. Now I'm over here somewhere. I've got a negative x and a positive y. That puts me in the second quadrant. If I have two negative numbers that I am trying to plot here, both x and y are both negative, I am over here in this third quadrant. Negative x, negative y puts me somewhere around here. And if I am positive x, negative y, I'm over here in the fourth quadrant. Okay, so 
Understanding these four quadrants and how they work with positive and negative um, numbers and being able to plot these things um, is, is a really important thing. Um, when we're doing our, our, our translations, the, these are the slides that we just did, um, the homework kept us just in that first quadrant. Um, but you can physically slide that in lots of directions. You can take it from here, you can slide it this way, you can take it from here, slide it over here, slide it down there. So um, the, the Cartesian coordinate uh, plane system is really um, very important in terms of uh, being able to, to be versatile and be able to do stuff. So today's work, you might be given, here, let me just take a piece of paper here. You might be given um, some coordinates and you need to plot them. So you might be given, say, A, is gonna be at um, four comma two. We'll go B, we'll say um, negative three comma four. C, we'll say negative five comma negative six. D is gonna be at um, uh, two comma negative seven. Okay, so all of these places, or all of these coordinates can be, uh, can be plotted properly on my coordinate grid system. So A, I'm, I'm gonna be in quadrant number one here for A, because it's both positive numbers. I'm at four for my, my X, which is always the first number, and then I'm at two for my Y, and this is where A is, right there. Okay, so B, I've got negative three and positive four. That puts me in the second quadrant. So here I am, negative three, doing my X first, and then I find my Y over on positive four, takes me right here, that's B. Okay, then C is telling me negative five, negative six, gonna be in the third quadrant. So over here, I'm gonna find my Y, my X first, I should say, X is negative five. And then I'm gonna be going down negative six, right there. And that is the C location. And the last one we've got in quadrant number four, we're looking at uh, D is two, negative seven. So the first thing I'm doing is my X, finding the two and then I'm going down over here to negative seven, and that's gonna be D, okay? So you're gonna need to use, um, it could take you a couple sheets of graph paper to do today's work. Um, setting up a big piece of paper and making your Cartesian plane, just drawing the big X down the, you know, the big um, T here, um, adding a few numbers in, and you are all set to go in terms of finding the locations of these things. Um, I may actually give you one question from yesterday's work that I did not assign, uh, and that question requires you to go into um, beyond the first quadrant of the, of the Cartesian coordinate system. Okay, I hope this all makes sense. And um, yeah, some of you have already actually um, created your own geometry section for your submitting your work and you put your work into there, which is great to see. Others did not create their own folder. I went ahead and created that folder for you um, just a little while ago. Uh, but again, I'm not seeing any homework in that, um, in that uh, file. So hopefully you'll have that there for me very, very soon. Okay, take care everyone. Um, have a great day.